guys and welcome back to my channel okay so in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to use the russian ball tip <laughs> to pipe whipped cream yes so i've seen several people use this ball tip to pipe buttercream so i said okay let me see what it will look like to use it to pipe whipped cream because i bought it for a while and i just left it in my kitchen and i didn't really use it so i decided to just see how like it will be like okay so it comes with this coupler thing that has like three whatever in case you want to do three colors at the same time and then it has about seven different tips in it and then it has um four tips that are closed in the middle and three tips that are open in the middle when i say open yeah that's what i mean and i mean like there's a hole in the middle yeah so like there won't be an empty space some of them are closed in the middle kind of like that and then it also comes with this silicone bag yes but if you know me you know like i don't really use like piping bags i have to wash like i'm allergic to too much work <laughs> so basically i like to use my disposable piping bags like i don't joke with them i think i buy a pack and like i use up a pack in like two weeks i don't joke with those things because it makes my life easier and then we're going to be using this really stiff whipped cream today and we're going to be seeing the difference between piping with this version ball tips with very stiff whipped cream or whipped cream that is not very stiff to so see like which one is better like what's best for you and which one looks better and everything so i tried to bring a review for you guys today and i hope you enjoy it okay so we're going to be using this first tip this one has no hole in the middle so we're going to be comparing this first tip this tip also comes in another tip a very similar tip but has a hole in the middle so that's what we're going to be doing we're not going to be using this coupler today at all because you know i don't do things i have to wash like if something's going to give me extra work i'm not doing sorry guys okay so we're going to be using this tip that doesn't have like a hole in the middle and then we're going to be piping whipped cream but i wanted to color the whipped cream yellow so we can like see what it really looks like because that way it's really like the color will make it pop more so you can see the result a little bit more so i decided to color yellow and this whipped cream is very stiff if you want the recipe to my stiff whipped cream without gelatin i'm going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that you don't need gelatin and to be very stiff and just perfect just like buttercream okay so i'm going to take that and put in my piping bag and remember this piping tip we're using does not have a hole in the middle so let us see the difference and what it will look like okay so slowly you want to pipe and just go up and down go up and down this is why this is how i see other people using this tip so i said to use it the same way but i don't really fancy the hole in the middle there's two there's a gaping hole in the middle and it seems it's a little bit annoying and i don't exactly like how it piped so what i'm going to do is now that we've piped with very stiff whipped cream we're going to take our whipped cream and then we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream to it just like maybe half a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon of heavy whipped cream so that it can be a little bit watery like a thinner consistency basically and then we're going to pipe and see which one is better do you want it really stiff or you want it not too stiff okay so now we're going to be using the same piping tip so we're going to see the result it gives us because i don't exactly like this one yeah so let's see the result it gives us so we're going to take this some of this whipped cream that is not too um thick we're going to take it and put it in our piping bag and then we are going to pipe just the same way we pipe the first one we're going to pipe the second one and then you're going to see which one you prefer i don't like that gaping hole in the middle so we're still going to try the tip that has a hole so that hole in the middle we fill in some cream in that hole in the middle does that make sense anyways so we need to pipe it the same way up and down movement up and down movement up and down movement until we've done about six rotations of that and see hmm. which one do you prefer i think i prefer the one that is not too stiff it, it has a lot more character to it than the overly stiff one okay so i think i'm going to put some chocolate balls in the middle and see the difference like how much better it will be i don't yeah the hole in the middle for the one that is not too stiff is not too like glaring it looks a little bit better it is not so bad you might not even see the hole in the middle but the one that is very you know the whipped cream is very thick you can see a gaping hole in the middle literally so i think that hole i like to fill it with some chocolate balls or yeah some chocolate balls are already colored gold <laughs> and it's so wide i just sank in the middle that's just annoying so I think if you're going to be piping whipped cream with this ball tip make sure your whipped cream is not too stiff yeah 
so like you can have a better you know i don't know a better looking flower especially if you're going to buy him flowers with it okay so i want us to now try the same piping tip but the one that has a hole in the middle there are different seven variants of the piping tip in this bag but this one is the same piping tip the same lines around the boy has a hole in the middle so we're going to try that and see the, the difference this one that has a hole in the middle i don't exactly fancy because the hole is very gaping but in the other one the hole is not so bad okay so let's try the second one yeah okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to take it yeah yes i mean this one see that hole in the middle yeah that's what i'm talking about the first one we used didn't have a hole in the middle so we're going to try this one with a hole in the middle so like since there's a hole in the middle there will be that there will be more cream in the middle and then you won't have that annoying gaping hole okay so i already colored our uh, whipped cream orange because i wanted it to look different so you guys can tell which is which so we're going to take another piping bag and put our cream inside and this is a very stiff cream for this one also we're going to be using very stiff cream and not very stiff cream to make two different variants so we can see which one we prefer okay so getting started we're going to be doing the same movement basically up and down up and down up and down up and down about maybe six or seven times yeah i don't really like this one yeah there is no gaping hole in the middle so that makes it a little bit better but i don't really like the ruffles around it so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to yeah like the hole in the middle is filled up by that hole in the middle of the piping tip so when you put your big ball inside it doesn't sink in like this other one yeah so i think i prefer the one with the, the piping tip with the hole in the middle okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my the orange whipped cream that we already colored and i'm going to thin that out with one teaspoon or two teaspoons of every cream so so we can see what it looks like to be thinned and like what the very stiff whipped cream looks like okay so we're going to mix that together and then we're going to transfer it into our piping bag just like we did for the first one and then we're going to see the difference in the flower it pipes this time okay so the next thing we want to do is to take this whipped cream that is not too stiff and then pipe the second one and see which one we prefer I think I'm going to prefer this one that is not too stiff because it gets more character if it is not too stiff. Yeah, I think so. I actually do prefer the ruffles on like when you're piping with whipped cream but it's not too stiff with this a ball tip. And then I'm going to put some chocolate in the middle and see the difference. Yeah, I prefer it not too stiff. Please, if you think you prefer it not too stiff, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Plus the one that is not too stiff is a lot easier to pipe especially if you're decorating a cake or a cupcake so and if you can't tell the difference please let me know maybe i'm just being a princess if you can tell let me know if you can't tell let me know i'd really appreciate that <laughs> okay thank you guys today i was just thinking let me make you like a review of this ball tea because they're everywhere online actually like a lot of people are using them and i had never used them before and i wanted to see the difference yeah okay guys thank you so much for always watching my videos and please remember to give me a thumbs up on this video i'd really appreciate it thank you guys and i will see you in my future videos